Welcome back vacationers on another trip to the Orlando area. Today we head over near SeaWorld to check out another staycation style of resort and I'm not going to lie to you, we fell in love with it. If you like what you see, please, 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 please like and subscribe as it helps out the channel immensely and we would greatly appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's begin the tour. For the most part, I always assumed these were timeshare properties, so I never gave it a second look until one day it popped on my Priceline search for 100 bucks a night. Never heard of it before, and I'm assuming anything with the name Grande Vista must be good. Plus, that is what we do here, tour and explore different resorts and hotels for you. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. I did not realize the size of the property until I began walking the grounds and exploring the different areas, coming across the four different pool locations, the golf course, the spa, and multiple spots to find something good to eat. I bought pizza and it was delicious. What really stood out to me was the ultimate relaxation and creepy peacefulness I felt while there. It almost felt as if I was in this little village distant from the madness of the theme parks that pretty much had anything I would need on site, including Starbucks. Do not let the peacefulness mislead. Just because it's quieter than most places we stayed does not mean there's nothing to do. On the contrary, it was full of daily activities to enjoy, from paddle boats to pool yoga, jazzercise. Honestly, I don't know what I saw when I was looking at it, but they have it every morning, which I would have attended the following morning, but I overslept. Now, speaking of sleeping, what we booked was a one bedroom villa, which I will say up front, I've loved it so much, I extended our stay an additional night. Just look at it, it blew my mind that I found a room like this for so cheap. And this was during the Super Bowl weekend. Has a full kitchen with stock of a washer and dryer, dining area, living area, with a pull out couch with a view to the golf course, which was just utter relaxing to me.
Now there's something important that I do have to mention. After this trip, I booked another night when I was doing a trip to LA. On that trip, I stayed in the standard room instead of the villa. And let me say, it was not maintained well compared to the villa. It looked actually dated and it's, it was just bad. So I will be definitely be going back to give it uh, another look so I could really see what's up. As for the master room in this villa, spectacular. I slept like a baby. Now, the placement of the TV in the wardrobe felt a little odd to me, as well as the size of the TV compared to the size of the room. Now, I know I'm nitpicking here, but it just felt odd, almost to the point that made me kind of laugh. What was nice though was the spa tub and the separate sink from the actual bedroom. Nothing felt dated, well, except the shower. They gotta spice up the shower, add some color to it because it felt something out of a clinic. Overall, we had an amazing time here. And I do have to mention that their COVID protocols were also a one. So much so that in order to check in, they only allowed one person per group per family so i thought that was nice we will be coming back as i stated before just because i want to check out that standard room and see if it was just that one instance or something's going on here otherwise if you're planning on staying at a hotel resort you're on the fence about comment below or if you stayed here before comment below and let us know how your stay was until the next trip Stay safe.